Hey you guys, welcome back to Lisa and Company. Today we have another great Christmas collab. This one is co-hosted by two women that I have gotten to know really well since I started my YouTube journey. That is Sonia over at Domestic Diva and Sandra at the Schwowin's Nest. I'm gonna link both their channels both up here and down below because I want you to check out all the amazing content they do. They are pouring out content for the Christmas season and just have a ton of inspiration for you. Today we are doing dupes from whatever it was and mine is a Pottery Barn dupe. This is something that I wanted to do for a little while. If you've been following me, y'all know how much I love snow. Yes, I just yalled, yeah. Don't know where that came from. Anyway, I'm all about snow, so this Pottery Barn dupe is also all about snow. Let's get started. If you were watching the porch video a couple of days ago, you'll remember that Aslan was doing his best to steal the show. So we thought we'd get that out of the way and he would say hi before we got started. On the right, the beautiful Pottery Barn original. On the left, what we're making tonight. I started out in my Cricut design space trying to figure out exactly what I wanted this to look like. I'm pretty pleased with the way it came out, but I'm not going to lie, those little dots took a long time to, air quote, randomly place. I had to fuss around a little bit with the vinyl and you'll see why in a second, but let's get this baby cut. So usually you just put your cut stencil, cut Cricut, cut design. How about we go with cut design? Usually you put your cut design right down on the pillow. You've done it in reverse. It's all set to go. You can ignore my green tape. Some of my little snowflakes were falling off. But when I went to cut this, I realized I was about two inches short of the glitter vinyl. And glitter vinyl's not cheap, friends, so I decided to improvise. So what I have done, I have put some plain white vinyl on my Cricut mat. I'm going to cut out the snowflakes and the dots that go out here, but I'm gonna mix them up. So we're not gonna have, you know, a weird thing happening on. So I'm gonna leave the let it snow all in the glitter. I'm gonna take one or two of the snowflakes and put them up top here by trimming them out and replace them with the snowflakes just in the regular white vinyl. Same thing with some of the little dots so that we'll have kind of a real nice mix and then we'll iron it on all, we'll iron it all on and we're gonna be all set to go before you know it. I always iron my fabric before we get started. You don't wanna be ironing on vinyl to wrinkles and it is also recommended from the manufacturer's instructions that you warm up the fabric first. So I've cut out a couple of my snowflakes. I'm just gonna get everything placed with the plain white and the glitter vinyl, and then we're gonna get ironing, and we're gonna be finished before we know it. You guys, Izzy and I are so excited. We can see that first 1,000 subscribers right on the horizon. So help us out. Hit that subscribe button. Share our videos with your friends and family, people you think might enjoy them as much as you, and help us reach that first goal. Make sure you stay tuned in our next video because we're going to have details of the giveaway. And of course, that's only good for subscribers. So like I said, make sure you hit that button and don't forget the notification bell. If you've arrived here from one of the other channels, please stop, say hello in the comments, and stick around for some great inspiration. So you guys, what did you think? Did you think my dupe was just as good as the Pottery Barn original? 
I'm pretty happy with it. I'm also pretty happy with the price tag. I used about $25 in materials between the IKEA cushion cover as well as the iron-on glitter vinyl. Um, that was the biggie at almost $20. But versus the $66 Pottery Barn price tag, I think I did pretty good. I did a quick check today and it is on sale because we are close to the holidays and the sale price is down to $45. So even with that, I've come out almost 50% ahead. I say dupe it if you can. Okay, you guys, I promised that we were going to have some great inspiration coming up and I need you to hit that subscribe button because we have one gigantic video coming up. I mean huge. I mean make yourself a hot tea, coffee, or cocoa. Sit down, get comfortable because it is going to be so full of holiday inspiration. Maybe it'll help you out with your holiday decorating. So again, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss that video. All right, everybody, thanks again. You know I appreciate your support like crazy. Thanks for stopping by Lisa and Company, and we'll see you next time. Bye.